Elgato HD60 Plus, the audio lag, it's out this world. So based that that was going on with my thing, I had the same problem. And I try to go on YouTube and find all different sorts of tutorials, uh, Oreos, and all this type of stuff. But a lot of them, it does, you know, it gives you a few tips and pointers and all that. But it's nothing like doing it yourself and getting to it and what works for you. So let me show you what worked for me. That probably will work for you or can help you out a little bit. So this is what I found. And here we go. So I put it up like this just so you can see it up close and personal. And plus, right now, what's actually capturing this audio and the video play is the Elgato HD60X, right? Uh, I was getting frustrated because my thinking is like I spent nearly $230 with shipping and all that because I got it at Best Buy. And I've always had this capture card which was the budget-friendly capture card that goes for about 15 bucks, And I'll put the link in the description. And this was an awesome buy, and I used it for almost a year. And you can go to any of my channels, whether it's On The Lockout or on Twitch, On The Lockout, on YouTube, On The Lockout, or type in On The Lockout Gaming right here on YouTube, and you can see the gameplay from... Uh, last month or the last two months Right before I started using uh, the Elgato HD60X I don't even have it a month And I did comparisons with that But anyway, you can see how great this was So I was about to switch it up and be like You know what, I'm not using it anymore Because technically, I'm not recording in 4K or none of that And I have no plans to, like, ever Unless... That's something that changes where everything has to be 4K in the world. And I doubt that that happens. But anyway, let's get right to it. So what I did that worked for me was, uh, let's go to the Elgato capture card first, right? Boom. Hopefully you guys see it right there up close and this works out for you. So the Elgato HD60X, what happened is I had this where it says buffering. It was actually enabled. So... It made me lag. It made the audio lag hard. So I disabled it. That helped out a little bit. Right? I'm not using the HDMI from the capture card or none of that. So I'm using line in because I'm dual PC streaming. And I know I could probably use the uh the HDMI audio and all that, but that's not what I'm doing. And so I put it, I make sure that where it says audio device is online in real tech because I'm using a mixer with my Elgato and analog audio and cabling and all that going across. So I think it's doing pretty well for cables that are over 10 feet, foot long, uh, feet long, some of them. And they say that audio breaks in between after it goes a certain amount of feet, if, if I'm not mistaken, right? So I know I'm not... The probably the best tech dude in the world, but I'm pretty sharp at what I've learned so far and going through trials and tribulations. And that's how I learned. And now I get to show you guys. Right. And that's the beauty about it. But check this out. Um, Boom. Dual PC streaming. Actually, to be honest, look one second. You see this PC right here? That's my streaming PC. Right. And then I'm going to switch it for you real quick. Pop. And that's my main rig. Which is my, what people would call their gaming PC, right? So streaming, gaming, uh, 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 the Elgato capture card is right behind this guy. That's the HD60X. I don't know. I just put it there. There's not that much heat coming up from this PC. It's only my streaming PC. And the Elgato HD60X actually gets hotter than this PC, believe it or not, on a stream. So, uh, yeah. With that, uh, with that being said, with that being said, I did that, right? And then I went right here because I added an audio capture, audio input capture. Because remember, I'm using one mic to go to both PCs with a mixer, all the cables and all that. XLR plugged in microphone, uh, what have you, yada, yada, yada. So I added an audio capture device here. So even the audio online in 
it's toggled, it's toggled off, off like down like down here pop so if you're using line in shut it down from your mic my mic, my is, mic act- is actually down cuz I figure you hear, you hear echo, an right? echo right do you do you, you guys probably, you guys hear, probably an echo hear an echo, right, echo now. right now so i turn it off pop on the mic it's off on the elgato hd60x it's off and even if i toggled it and put it up you're not going to see it move like at all you get it so pop some people know how to get it out of there but whatever it's just there right on the display audio there is none on this pc because it's coming from my main rig to this one and i capture it right here so bang then i went and i press right click right and go to advanced audio properties and where it says audio input capture right i put it to 350 so you know you either slowing up the audio or uh yeah you slowing up the audio yeah so anyway whatever some people put it at 320 it works for them some people put it at 350 but on my main rig keep up with me and all these are toggled off line two line three line four line six because i only need line one all the audio goes to one thing pop i make it simple right so then where it says elgato capture hd 60 x plus that is not even on one i took that off pop just in case so there's nothing you get it from the audio from the elgato i don't know and that's what's been working for me now mind you on the reason why i put it to 350 is because on my main uh on my main pc right which i'll show you right now in a second i'm i'm going to show you right now and most of the time i have i have this off on my pc so is on now, but I could just toggle it off. So uh, everything is just off. So let me put, I'm going to put like some sort of capture so you guys can see. I'm going to probably use like a window capture and let's see if it captures the whole screen or something. I don't know if it will, but whatever. Let's see. Uh, Probably not right now, right? <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is show you this. Pop. So now you can see, right, the display. So never mind uh, what's down here, or whatever, right? The main thing is that my mic on this PC, which is you can see it moving like grayish. This is from now it goes to the to the main rig. It's off because if I turn it on, it don't really matter because that's like for that PC. Like if I was recording over here or something. Right. Even during gaming, I have that mic off because people will hear some sort of echo. So it's just off. So all of them are off because I have nothing coming through unless I had I was playing like a a YouTube video and I wanted it to be in here. I may turn that on. And most of the time you don't even need that. I could just play the video and it's just going straight through and it's being captured by the the capture that's on the streaming PC. That I added from OBS Studio. If you get what I'm saying. So anyway. Let's go to this mic and right click on the main rig. Right. But this goes the same for. Well if you single PC like. Why would you have a capture card? But I get it though. But anyway let's go to advanced audio properties. If you can see right here on my mic there. I even have it higher. It's at 170. Okay, why this is on over here. This was for some other stuff, a video. But anyway, and I only have for me to listen to display monitor and output, right? When I'm listening to something over here or when I'm do PC streaming or whatever, I want to hear what's going on on this PC too. So, but you see what I'm saying? That I had to put it up over there also so the audio can match because what I'm getting is that the audio is coming from the main mic at 300 and something. So I only had it on the Elgato at 120 because that's what the budget, the budget capture card was taken. I had the budget capture card set to 120 and it was fine. 
But I notice now that with the Elgato, it needs to be up at almost similar to what this one is, which is 350. So I don't know, guys. Honestly, that's what worked for me. Uh, uh, you know, for right now. And I think one other little minor trick that probably will help you guys. But let me know if you would like to know about that one. I know that this one right here worked. You you right click and you change on the on the on this uh audio input capture, you gotta add that and and capture your audio that way if you're using OBS and you're not using HDMI cabling or whatever. And I don't know if you could even capture the HDMI cabling, but if you could because I don't use HDMI audio right now. I haven't got to that with OBS. I have in the past, but I kind of sort of like forgot so much tech stuff in my brain. But anyway, tune in to this channel. Subscribe for more. Tune in to On The Lockout on all major audio and streaming platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Tune in, iTunes, uh, Pocket Cast, CastBox FM. Uh, Player FM, Amazon Music, Amazon Podcast, Google Podcast, and much more. The links will be in the description to that and to the capture cards, the budget, the Elgato, and the microphone that I'm using right now, which is the Rode mic in case you want to get it. Uh, I'll probably even put the, the microphone I started with that was awesome, which was a $20 mic. So you don't really need these mics. You don't really need the expensive stuff. I captured all my plays and everything. With a $12 capture card that's about $15 right now for a full year. I promise you, bro. And it was awesome. I only bought the Elgato capture card, I guess, for bragging rights. If you want to say that. And to do the comparison and let you know that it's cool, but you may be spending your money on unnecessary stuff. Just to be real. Elgato didn't sponsor this video, and even if they did... I deal with the truth. It's an awesome product. It has features to upgrade in the future and all that, but is it really needed? I don't know, buddy. You can buy a monitor or, or pay your bills with that money. Tech for Rec, for the peoples.